this is the Samsung Galaxy S22 and it's been a while since its release but that doesn't mean it's bad so let's look at why it is worth buying a Samsung Galaxy S22 two years after its release in 2022 As always, first let's look at the build. The sides are made out of armor aluminum and the front and the back are made out of Gorilla Glass Victus. I have earlier said that I like phones with a boxy design, but after using the S22 which has slightly curved edges, I have changed my mind. Curved sides are more comfortable to hold. From the front, this phone looks like any new Samsung S series model from the past 4 years or so, featuring the typical hole punch camera and thin bezels. However, when you turn the phone over, you can see traces of the old KSI for its sized camera bump design, which has been removed since the S23 series, but it doesn't look outdated in any way. The S22 features a dynamic AMOLED display with a 120Hz refresh rate, and the S22 display can go up to 1300 nits, which makes it okay to use outside. It's also an always-on display, which is quite generous for a phone priced at $300. I mean, you could buy the latest this iPhone 15 for $800 and only get a screen with 60Hz refresh rate and not an always on display. Another reason to buy this phone in 2024 is its performance. For it being a 2 year old phone, this phone does perform really well. For normal day to day tasks like using social media, browsing the web, making calls or sending text messages, this phone performs really well. It also has several Galaxy AI features like the circle to search feature which is super fast on the S22. However, gaming on the S22 can be a bit tricky, not necessarily because of lag, but because of the heat. As you can see, there isn't much lag when playing, but after playing the game for a while, the phone starts getting really hot. And as you probably know, heat isn't good for the phone battery. The Samsung Galaxy S22 can be updated to One UI 6.1 and will most likely receive software support from Samsung for another two years, which might not seem extensive but for a $300 phone, I would say this is quite good. Moreover, the S22 is a 5G phone. This is of course an advantage if you live in areas with 5G coverage. However, the only problem with using 5G is that it tends to drain the battery pretty fast, which is another problem for later. But first, over to the cameras. Now, this phone has three cameras, which are a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 50 megapixel normal, and a 10 megapixel telephoto camera. The S22 does snap beautiful pictures in good lighting, and the low light performance isn't that bad either because of a large sensor and wide aperture which increases quality of the image and reduces noise and graininess. And the telephoto lens can zoom up to 30 times, even my 15 Pro can't do that. And here's a picture for comparison. Now most of the zooms on the S22 are digital, so as you can see there is a noticeable quality drop in the picture taken with the maximum zoom on the S22, but anyway, keep in mind that the S22 is a base model Samsung phone from 2022. Now, the video capabilities on this phone are also really good. It can actually film in 8K, which I never use, but it's super impressive for a $300 phone. And actually, most of the clips from this video right here was taken with the S22. But one thing I encountered while filming is the quality drop when I switch from the regular camera to the ultra wide camera while filming. Anyways, now over to the worst thing about this phone, battery life. On paper, the S22 has a 3700 mAh battery, which might sound good, but on the other hand, the S21 has a 4000 mAh battery. Now, I don't have an S21, but I watched YouTubers describe how bad the S22 battery is compared to the S21. Now, in my everyday use, the phone battery isn't too bad. It lasts all day without needing to recharge. I text, use social media, browse the internet, make some calls, and and record videos using this phone. However, when I play games on it, the battery drains faster. But that's understandable, as gaming in general is a power craving task for phones. Anyways, I personally would say that this phone has a pretty alright battery, based on my experience with the phone. And that's it for this video, be sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section and I'll see you later.